Now from the Lone Star State in Houston, Texas, nighttime baseball from beautiful Minute Maid Park. It's game three of the National League Division Series between the Cleveland Indians and the Houston Astros. Astros baseball starts right now. Coming to the plate now, Jose Ramirez. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Third baseman. Jose Ramirez. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. A wind up and the 0 1. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. One, two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Well, he jumped ahead right there with two fastballs in through the changeup and he didn't buy it. So let's see where he goes from here. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Well, the one two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. In front of the changeup there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Well, that was a pretty good swing right there. Tough changeup, back-to-back -back changeups. He fouls it off. Now you get the pitch you want because I can't see him throwing another changeup right here. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. The three, two, one more time. And here's a ball hit in the air. Correa onto the grass. He's there and records the first down. So here's Francisco Lindor now. Francisco Lindor. Into the windup and the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. On the run is Kemp. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Here's Michael Brantley. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First pitch on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Kemp retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Astros. Third baseman. Marwin Gonzalez. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he misses 2 and 1. To two and two now. Man, he's got a good fastball. He showed it off right there. He blew it right by him. He's set. Here's the two two. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for wrap number one. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Right fielder, Josh Reddick. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's one and oh. 1 0 count. Here it is. Nope. And that one stayed up a little high. No strike. 2 and 0 pitch on the way. Aye. The changeup that catches the corner for strike one. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. You know, the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. 
2 1 pitch is a fastball swung on and missed 2 and 2. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Digging in, Jose Altuve. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Hard on the ground toward short, scooped up. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Settling in now, Edwin Encarnacion. He'll lead it off against Lance McCullers. Edwin Encarnacion. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Oh, and a big swing by Encarnacion as this is sent out to deep left field. And oh my goodness, it's off the light pole. Here's Carlos Santana now. Carlos Santana. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Hit hard back up the middle. Correa is right there. Throw on to first. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Second baseman. And is the second baseman Jason, Jason Kipnis. Kipnis. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Now here's a check swing. Did he go around is the question and yes he did says the man in blue strike one. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Smoke toward the hole and Kipnis is going to reach on a base hit. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Good job by the catcher to keep the ball from getting too far away and allowing that base runner to get into scoring position. That keeps the double play in order, which they need, seeing as they've already given up one run in this inning. Kim will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now with the play, Lonnie Chisenhall. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set. Here it comes. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Swing and a high pop-up. Could be tough back behind third. Gonzalez is there, and the side is retired. So digging in now, Carlos Correa. And he'll face Carlos Carrasco to get the inning underway. Carlos Correa. First pitch on its way. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Now that's a slider that's pretty easy to recognize. Started on the outside, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. But one that's difficult is that one that starts in at you and still breaks over the plate. And he'll step off and try again. The 1 0 delivery. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. Now with the plate, Brian McCann as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. And here's a curveball. Looked at strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Evan Gaddis now standing in. First delivery to him on the way. Just got a piece of the fastball that time as it's chopped foul at the plate for strike one. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was nice. 
hit on the ground to short. In time to first, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And here's the ever dangerous Carlos Beltran. Now the pitch. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. That looked like he was cheating for that fastball inside right there. Early swing, got out in front of that off-speed pitch, clearly looking for a fastball. And Beltron swings through a fastball here as he falls behind, nothing in two. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Ready with another 0 2. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. In now, Mejia. He'll go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1 1 tie. Into the windup and the pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Looks at a changeup on the inside corner for a strike. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. Lifted the other way to left center. Springer giving chase. He's got it one away. Digging in to try it again. Jose Ramirez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. Pitch on the way. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. And another foul ball. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Altuve at second, reined in. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. For Digging in for his second at bat, Francisco, Francisco Lindor. Over one for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now here's the pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now the pitch. A swing and a miss at a ball down. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Kemp is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Here's George Springer. He'll get us going in the home half of Leading inning number three. Center fielder, George. First delivery Springer. to him on the way. A Ball fastball off down. the plate away. It's ball one. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 and 0 oh to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. Now here's the pitch. Boy, oh, he just threw that fastball by him. There's another swing and strike on a fastball. He's got a nice fastball working, great pop on it, and he's keeping it high in the zone. They're going to have to lay off that if they want to have any success. Because you keep chasing it, they're going to keep swinging and missing. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch. So he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. And he sat down one away. 
left fielder, Tony Kemp. First pitch coming, here it is. Tony Kemp comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes Naquin. He gets there, and that's the second out. Ready for another chance? Marwin Gonzalez. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Carrasco pauses. Here's the 1 0. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Riding in once again, Michael Brantley. Leading He'll start Cleveland. things out here in a Left tie fielder, ball game. Michael Brantley. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a breaking ball backs him out of the way. 1 and 0 oh the count. Here's the pitch. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 and 0 oh now. And the pitch. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Bradley will take the turn and head for second now. And the tribe will get a man to second base on the leadoff double. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Edwin Encarnacion. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. A cold strike on the inside corner. I like that curveball right there. You know he's setting fastball. He wants to ambush one. Jump it right out of the yard. He dropped the curveball on him. Got an 0-1 count. Down and away, ball one. One run on three hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. And this is a ball to Encarnacion. Two and one now. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. But quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. Digging in the switch hitter, Carlos Santana, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. The 1 and 0 delivery. On the ground, up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Out at the plate as they slap the tag on him. So two gone now for the second tribe here in the fourth. And standing in now, the power-hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. He comes set. Here's the nothing-and-nothing nothing pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Kemp is after it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Standing in, Josh Reddick. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Right fielder. Number 22. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Chisenhall racing back. To lead off the inning. Now to the plate, Jose Altuve. Both for one for him here in this one. Jose Altuve. He's set and the pitch. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. A 
Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Boy, that was an ugly swing. He clearly was not looking for that pitch. He's set. Here comes the one one. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Check swing grounder to the right side. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Carlos Correa. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. There's that slider truly in an unhittable spot. It's one and one. Swing and a liner. On to first, and there were two down. Striding in, Brian McCann. First time up, he went down looking. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. Well, he's really peppering the zone right there, going up in the zone. I wonder if he stays there the whole time. Usually you'll see that with two strikes, not with no strikes. High in the air into shallow left center. Brantley is under it, and that ends the inning. Into the box, Tyler Naquin. He's in to get Getting things going game here game. in inning number five. Center fielder, Tyler Naquin. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1 0. Now here's the pitch. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And a changeup runs inside on him as he's got to back out of the way of that one. Well, he falls behind 3 1 right now, but man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. The right fielder. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand Lonnie. in. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Here's the 1 1. The big curve ball just misses apparently ball two. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Correa retreats to the outfield grass and he has it for round number one. The batter, Striding into the box. Mejia he's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yep, and they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Runners on the move for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Well, Matt, they've all seen him at this point, and clearly they're not picking him up much better. You see the swing on that pitch right there? Nasty. Here's another one, too. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seat. Now another one two. To first McCann gloves it and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over.
Evan Gaddis now standing in. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Catcher, Evan Gaddis. First delivery to him on the way. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. And the pitch. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now batting, now Carlos batting. Beltran. He got called out on strikes his last Carlos time through. Beltran. First offering on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Naquin is there to put this one away as they get Beltran on just one pitch. Fielder number four. Stepping in, George, George Springer. Springer. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0-1. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. The 0-1 pitch. Knee-high slider that he takes a look at. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. And he misses there, one and two. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Ready for another shot now. Jose Ramirez. Leading he'll lead things Indian. off here in this one-run contest. Jose and he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. So here's Francisco Lindor now. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. And the curveball induces a big swing and a miss. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at bat. Right now, pitcher's got the advantage. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fastball in the dirt, and that's going to get away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0-1 to 3-1, and one, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. Inside as he nearly got well, him, and it's ball four. Luke Hochaver comes on Michael. now in an awfully You're difficult right, situation as there are two now, on here with Astros. nobody out. Number 44, Luke. Michael Brantley is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. Well, well, the Indians have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. <laughs> that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. From the stretch. Oh, and ouch. That one drilled him. So gets him. So they are able to get an out on an unusual play. And hopefully the pitcher's okay. 
Edwin Encarnacion now comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Call to the bullpen now as Luke Gregerson will take over here on the mound. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Brantley rounds the corner and is headed home. And the run will score all the way from first. It's a three to two ball game. Here's Carlos Santana now. He's one for two in the ball game. Santana. First offering on its way. And he lays off there one and oh. One oh count here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw in time at first for out number two. And is the second baseman Jason second Kipnis a hit in two tries so far. Kipnis. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Right at the third baseman and that'll end the inning. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. He'll lead it off as we start the home six. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Well, he's really got good stuff tonight. They're not picking him up at all. That ball, again, out of the zone. He's getting a lot of Ks on that pitch tonight. Chopped weakly to the right. That winds up foul. Now the 0-2 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Ramirez is there. Throw just does get him at first as he was really moving that time. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. Naquin is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Right fielder. Shot. Right Carrasco pauses. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Now the Astros are going to get a left-hander up and cranking out in the bullpen. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Gonzalez is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Lonnie Chisenhall. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Grounded to the right. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. Digging in to try it again. Mejia. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. From the stretch. Swing and a liner. In there, a base hit. Yeah. 
digging in and looking for more. Jose Ramirez. He singled his last time up. Tony Sip takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Tony First pitch on its way. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Francisco Lindor. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Reddick. Still going back. A leap and oh wow. A great effort to make the play and end the inning. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He'll start things Astros. out here in the bottom of inning number second seven. Baseman, Jose Altuve. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now this is chopped fouled at home plate. It's 0-1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Heading after it is Naquin. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the All inning. Right. Here's Carlos Correa Carlos. now. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's set. Here it comes. Tough slider down low for a strike. Well, Matt, we're talking about first pitch strike, right? Look, it's not great what he's been doing, but he's over 60% of the time. First pitch is going to be a strike. That's a nice little no nugget to have for the starting pitcher. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Carlos Correa becomes out number two this inning. Brian McCann is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Now that's a good curveball. That's the old 12 to 6 from midnight to 6 a.m. And he's doing it all day. Outside for a ball one and one. And the changeup is way low that time. Well it's two and one now and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll start he things out for us here in inning number eight. Left fielder number 23. First pitch of the Michael at bat on its Brantley. way. Way in front of a great slider that time. Well, that slider right there, that's what makes him tough against the left hander. That pitch is almost impossible to hit. As he swung on and popped up, crossing into foul territory now behind third. And there's out number one. Edwin Encarnacion now. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Ken Giles gets the call as he'll pitch. Number 53, Ken Giles. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Owen oh one count and the pitch. Oh, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's Owen oh two. Ready with the O2. Oh and there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. Well, now it's a one-two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Now 
neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Once again, a 3-2. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now batting, the first base so striding in, Carlos, Carlos Santana. Santana. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. And that will be a base hit here for Santana. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Striding in once again, Jason Kipnis. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Oh, he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Kim will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Ready once again, Tyler Naquin in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. John Del Gustave is called upon, and it's not for his usual role, just hoping to keep the deficit at one here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Runners will stay put, however, the count evens at one. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Digging in once again, Ronnie Chisenhall. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this is going to be a foul ball. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. This one's flared toward left center. Coming in is Kemp. Santana is on his way home. And he's going to get in there at the plate to make it a 5-2 to two lead now. Striding into the box, Mejia. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Hit in the air to shallow center. And Springer will tuck this one in to retire the side. Evan Gaddis now standing in. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Evan Gaddis. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. Boy, good bite on the slider, and it just missed inside. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Ah, uh, good break to that thing, and it's one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. The batter, Here's Carlos 15, Beltran. He started out the evening 0 for 2 Carlos so far. Beltran. Here's the first pitch to him. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. On its way is pitch number 75. One and two. Two runs on two hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And this is fouled at the plate. Here he comes again. One two. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Center fielder Ready four. now. George Springer. Joy. It's been an Springer. 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Eight. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. 
Carrasco pauses. Here's the 0-1. Nope. And that misses 1-1. One one. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. And this one's up around the eyes, 2-1. and one. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And he will strike him out. Ten. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. Jose Ramirez. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. I'm set with the 0-1. Swinging a soft liner. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now about it. So here's Francisco Lindor now. Francisco and if you remember, he was robbed of a home run earlier after an outstanding effort in the outfield. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Hard on the ground towards short. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base runner. Here's Michael Brantley. He Go comes into this appearance in the court. midst of a one for four Michael day. Brantley. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And he'll pull into second with one away. So coming to the plate, Edwin Encarnacion. He's two for three with a home run and a double. First pitch of the at bat and a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time he went deep earlier so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate at the very least they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again look being a close is one of the toughest jobs and it's hard to dominate every chance you get but he definitely looks off right now making it interesting to say the least he's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. He's set. Here's the three one. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Santana. First pitch on its way. Carlos Santana swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. Great job of getting back in the zone with a hard fastball after the walk. I think he might have let a little frustration out with that pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. This guy's got a tremendous curveball. He just froze the hitter right there. Did you see that? And this is fouled back and out of play. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Again, he sends it out of play. Another 1 2 delivery. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Second base for number 20. Coming to the plate now, Jason Kipnis. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees. It's strike one. Boy, I feel the pitch of your throwing good. That either says, I got great stuff, or he just doesn't know what he's doing right now. Even the great ones take bad swings, and that was a bad swing. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Here's the one and two delivery. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Here's another one, two. Ooh, he saws him off with that one, but foul. That's a good pitch right there, right on the corner with the fastball. Good job to foul the way with two strikes, though. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this one gets away. He'll come home with it, and not in time as the run scores. 
And he is safe at the plate as he wasn't able to recover in time. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Now at the plate, Tony Kemp. He'll lead things Leading off here off as we bottom play the, the bottom of the ninth. Left Here's fielder. the first pitch. Tony. Swing and a liner. But a foul ball. The 0-1. And now a curveball that bounces right. up to the plate. It's 1-1. One and one. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Now the one and two pitch. Misses ball two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Hey, one of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Tony Kemp is sent packing to begin Marwin the bottom of the inning. Gonzalez. Here's the first pitch. Marwin Gonzalez is at the plate as he watches ball one. Line drive to left. Brantley is there, and there are two men gone now. Now batting. Now at the plate, Josh Reddick. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, he got out in front of the change. He's looking for a fastball right there because he got the bat head so far out he was able to pull it. If that was a fastball, he might have kept it fair. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. The one and one pitch. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And the Indians are on their way. Next stop, the American League Championship Series. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Hey, when you go out there and punch out 11 hitters and you put your team in a great position to win a ball game, you deserve all of the recognition that comes your way. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Six runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base.